into the corner, wide open three ball for Isaiah Burnett. Roberts, and there's the man who does it all night long, Isaiah Burnett, who will slam it home. Struggling as he goes up and down the floor. Now Sims, a little hook left wide open. The three ball scoring for Max Zagorowski. Skip pass. Josh will try it and make it. Seven to shoot. Got it to the corner, high, arcing, three ball, thrown in, Nathan McGill, welcome to the ball game. Just came in on that last whistle. To the baseline, got it to an open, Shamir Johnson in the lead, down to one. Back outside, Isaiah Burnett driving through, and scores. Under control that time by Burnett. Josh trying to back his way in, and scores. Oh. What a steal by Isaiah Burnett. Here he comes, driving and score the basket and the foul for Isaiah Burnett. Zagorowski to the corner, three ball, down to the bottom of the well for Isaiah Burnett, and we're all even. Down inside, Sims, ducks under and scores. Nice job there to get it to Sims. They used the high low. Watch this again. The high low there. You didn't see the weak side help came all the way down from the guard spot. Burnett to the baseline. Zagorowski left wide open. And now Josh Mack to the corner. Three ball on the way. Scored Isaiah Burnett, who's got 15. Zagorowski, three ball is short. Offensive rebound, Mellis. Josh Mack, one on one the other way, all the way through and scores. Sims inside. Sips it up. There is 1,000 points for Andrew Sims, the 43rd player in Stonehill history to get to the 1,000 mark. And there they are. They've been waiting all night for that. Zagorowski hits a three ball. Always appreciate your time, Coach. I was late the other day, so I'm coming right away. Oh, very early. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going to steal one of oh, these. Oh, you can go right ahead. Get off to kind of a slow start, and then you just seem to right the ship midway through the first half, and then it was just a battle the rest of the way. We f I, I found something that we could do against them that was working, that alleviated pressure um, in the half court, and we just we kind of found a little bit of a rhythm that way, you know, um, offensively, but we weren't tough enough tonight. We lost this game because of turnovers, and we just weren't tough. We weren't tough enough. And uh, playing against them and that style, that system, we, we were soft with the basketball too many times. We were lackadaisical, and we just didn't have the toughness and then the mental toughness to deal with, with it. You know? And it's frustrating. It's a, it's a style that you have to be. It's a, a pressure and a trapping system that you can't just, you know, you can't cough it up. You can't give it away, and yeah. we gave it away a lot tonight. And you're not going to win. You're not going to beat them doing that. So I, I just, you know, it's it's frustrating. We, they're very good, but you have, we can beat them if we play with toughness, with mental toughness, you know, to take care of the ball. And we didn't do that. So, you mentioned the mental toughness, the physical toughness is part of it as well. Your thought on that, the physical aspect of how you performed tonight. Nah, I mean, I don't know. Physical for me, it's. You know, it's more the mental element of that game where uh, the physicalness, it, whether you want to say we want to box out more or what, not sure. You know, but I don't know. For me, if you take care of the ball. You I know, guess it's just more what I'm asking about is it just it just seems like they were just right up in your face all night and it, it seemed to bother you early they, on and then you really seemed to solve it well, midway through the first yeah, half. But then, not, we, we solved the first stretch, you know, where we were able to take care of it and yeah. get looks offensively. Um, but even, we just we, we didn't we didn't play well enough to win tonight, and uh, that's that happens, and it's unfortunate. You know we played a we've played better, um, but you have to play you know to a certain level and a standard against teams that do the these types of things. You know you got to take care of the ball, you got to want the ball, you got to want and invite that pressure and say you know what you're not going to affect me, and that's what I mean from a mental standpoint. That's what you know uh, one through five on the floor with the ball in your hands. You know and that's. 
you've got to invite and be excited about that and say, you know what, it's not going to bother me. I'm going to get to where I want to go. I'm going to be able to read a trap um, and take care of it. You know, we, and we, that's what the, the mental toughness, you know, and if a turnover happens, you've got to be able to mentally move on to the next play. And we, we didn't do that tonight. We weren't able to. And, uh, you know, they, they beat us and they took advantage of it. And we just, we, we didn't play well enough to win. Well, you got six days and you see them again. Yeah, we will. And uh, I think it's going to be the same recipe, you know, for them. They're not going to change. And they know they can do that to us. Are we going to respond and be ready for that here, you know? But um, we we got to focus on the next one first. Uh, we got to bounce back, you know, need a win here um, after the last two. And uh, if we play well and we play tough and we take care of the basketball, we'll, we can beat those guys. Um, but we have to do it for 40 minutes. Just let, let you go with one more thought, Andrew Sims, 1,000 points. 43 players in this history. I'll tell you what, history I, I mean, it's, it's an incredible accomplishment. Um, an absolute honor. He's a tremendous, fantastic player, um, and it's so well deserved. He's grown, he's developed. He's, you know, he's one of the best players in this league, um, which is a, which is pretty neat to say, especially after you know in our first year at Division One yeah. and how good he was in the sure. A10. Um, I'm glad it's out of the way. I will tell you that. I think he was there was a little bit of pressure that he had put on himself to, to do it and yeah. he had six points tonight and he was I don't know, sixteen or fourteen, whatever it was, away the other day against Merrimack and I think the that internal uh, pressure he had on himself to get it done and the excitement and I'm going to do it and then it was it was harder than it um, probably needed to be there was a lot of little missed yeah. bunnies around the rim the yeah. last two games that he had and I think that was just the pressure that he was putting on himself so um, as coach I'm glad he got it I'm really proud of him really really excited for him um, but glad it's out of the way and now you know that that a little bit of extra added pressure is probably gone and now we can just play again so you got LIU Fairley Dickinson and Hartford on the road for the next three yep Never let's ends. go play a dozen. So let's uh, we got to bounce back. We got to compete better, and you know, be tougher with the basketball, mentally tougher, and right. um, hopefully things will take care of itself. All right, coach. Thank All you right. as always for your time. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you, coach. Chris Krause, the head coach of the Stonehill Skyhawks men's team, a 65-57 setback.